Look, dreadful, crepey, awful arms. Morning. I've just got out the shower. My hair is still wet. And I just thought I'd say hello because it's Monday and I don't think I'm going to film much today, but I like to film a bit every single day so that you know I'm not um, holding back, holding out on you. Um, so Monday and I'm doing my best to pep myself up because it is so grey and dull. It's not cold, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm heading into work um, and uh, George is producing today and then tonight I am going to see my friend Simon Russell Beale. I say he's my friend. He's a friend of a friend and he's become my friend. Hopefully he'll consider me a friend. Um, so Simon Russell Beale at the Bridge Theatre. He's playing Bach. Not playing Bach, but playing Bach. Um, and um, he's not really the sort of actor that would appreciate me shoving my vlogging camera under his nose. Um, so I won't be filming that tonight. But I am going, so that's something to look forward to. And the rest of the week is really, it's like, oh, and I don't know whether this happens with you. Maybe it's because I'm freelance, so I accept gigs and um, put them in the diary and then forget. And then I, do you know what I love more than anything? And I know this is crazy because I rely on work to give me the standard of living to which I've become accustomed. <laughs> But what I love is looking at my diary when it is blank. I love it. Um, so part of me loved, I hate saying this, part of me actually loved lockdown because my choices were limited as to what I could do. But then I had an income, so I, you know, I realized I was very lucky. Anyway, I'm not gonna moan. Um, so I am wearing this Garni dress. You've seen, I bought this in Liberty a couple of years ago. I think I showed you it when I was buying it. And I wear it with luggage straps around it. And you may have, I, on Instagram, I posted that Rixo London, a fantastic, gosh, that's work, I'm late. Um, Rixo London, a fantastic brand, run by two girls, have opened a shop in Marylebone High Street. I have three Rixo dresses, I love them. And they have a fantastic belt, which I'm in two minds, it's a, a gold, like 19, what I might do is go and ask if I can film it, and then you tell me whether I should buy it or not. It's not cheap. Leave a comment below. That's if they let me film in there. I better get going. Matilda, come on, I'll take you out in a moment, but we're going to have our coffee first of all. I need to tell you something. You know how much I love my morning coffee. I don't drink, I don't smoke. My biggest vice is coffee, but is it a vice? I don't, I've never thought coffee is a vice, and I certainly don't now, because I was sent this by a company called Four Sigmatic. Come in, Philippe, you'll have to follow me. I've got Philippe behind the camera today. Um, and they're a Finnish company. And I, they said, would you like to work with, would I like to work with them? And I went on their website and I urge you to do it because they are, there's quite a lot of Finnish men and women. Um, they have a sauna in their office and they forage mushrooms and for Sigmatic they are functional mushrooms which they put into the coffee. Now as I'm chatting to you I'm going to make this. So how many supplements do I take? I take so many supplements a day I'm obsessed with what I put into my body but I've never really studied functional mushrooms before and this is lion's mane, lion's mane which is functional mushroom and it doesn't, it doesn't taste of mushroom, it doesn't smell of mushroom. I'm putting two in because there's only me and Matilda, obviously, having coffee in the morning. Um, gosh, it smells so beautiful. It's very, very dark roast, which is how I love it. Um, and yes, so originally these functional mushrooms were a tonic that have been used for thousands and thousands of years. And they work if you use them I'm going to do a close-up on this, Philippe. I'm now going to stir the coffee. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Um, if you use them daily, you need to take them daily. And so the best way of doing that, this fantastic company realised, was for all coffee lovers like myself, put it into the coffee. Therefore, as you are enjoying 
your morning coffee, you're also getting all the benefits of the functional mushrooms. Um, if you go on their website, you'll find out they do loads of other products. They do protein. You're into protein powder, aren't yeah. you? So they do cocoa. So I'm talking to Philippe, who you all know behind the camera. Um, they do cocoa protein powder with functional mushrooms as well. You need to with go onto the website, you'll find everything. But the deal is you get 10% off all their products, not just the coffee, but the protein powder. They do instant coffee sachets if you want to take them to work, pop them in your handbag, whatever. 10% off if you use my code, Middle Age Minx. Middle Age Minx. Right. Oh gosh, it's 100% Arabi Arabica, 100% Arabica. Araba. Cut this bit out. 100% Arabica. Keep that in. So it's 100% Arabica coffee, but with lion mane mushroom. Oh, this is nectar. It's nectar, and it's going to do me good as well. My wellness. My peace of mind, my immune system, and all the rest. Mmm. Lovely. Thank you. So, here I am in Rixo. You knew I'd be here. Gosh, put my mask up properly. Um, Rixo, London, uh, which is back, well, it's in Marylebone, first time in Marylebone. I think I put it on Instagram last week. Um, I'm just going to ask the girls, maybe. Can we turn the music down? Otherwise I have to log it. <laughs> These poor girls, they just put up with me. I come racing in here going, can I do this? Can I do that? And um, they're so good. Look at this. This is also Rixo, which is stunning. Gosh, that, I haven't seen that one. Thank you, this is the Camilla. It's the Camilla? Yes. And do you sell that one now? That we do, it's on, available on the website. Okay, so Camilla is online if you want to have a look, otherwise you need to get into Maribone High Street, and it's right on the corner where the bank used to be. But, as you know, I am wearing a luggage belt on my Garni dress, and um, I've had my eye on this because I'm 66, and I remember these chain belts in the 60s, and Rixo have brought them back, and I'm wondering if I might be able to try one on. Oh, absolutely, let me get that for you. Fantastic, so I'm gonna put this on and I want you to comment below, is it better than my luggage belt? Should I invest in one? Just leave a comment below. These are lovely. There you go. Aren't they? Look at that. Oh, right. So, Look at that. I have to, do you know I quite like it in the center actually. So yeah, I mean that's certainly, and look at it, the starfish all the way around the links and you can, ha you can change the links. So you can either have it wasted or you can have it on the hip. You could thread it through jeans. And I, as you know, I love to wear flares. So I might, you know, wear it with flares as a belt. It is so 1960s into 1970s hippiedom, I absolutely love it. And if you go online, you'll see they have a shell one as well. So it's the starfish and the shells. So tell me what you think, leave a comment below and be quick. And if you want to sort them out yourself, go online or come into the shop. My new Clergery shoes, my Rachel Riley dress, and actually I am going to take a very old wicker handbag that doesn't actually match the shoes but it's summer so what am i doing this morning hello matilda i'm going to the cosmetic skin clinic you'll know it because it used to do my profilo they used to do my profilo there and my profilo on my face um i am going to have so it's time for sleeveless dresses and look at this this is because i have not been doing my yoga i haven't been doing any workouts look dreadful, crepey, awful arms. And they send me a text going, would you like to try a new machine we have, the one they used on my stomach, to work my arms? This is like, is there a God to work my arms when I don't have to do anything but sit there, I think. So we are going to, Philippe's coming with me. That's Philippe's rucksack. 
<coughs> Police behind the camera. Hello. Um, actually, he, you can see him in the mirror. There's Philippe. So Philippe's going to do the before, and then I think I'm having a course of six. I mean, we'll find out from Magda, and he'll do the end. But look at this, it's awful. It's absolutely awful. I never wave anymore. I just go, bye, bye. Anyway, we Like the queen. Like the queen. <laughs> So here I am at the Cosmetic Skin Clinic with a familiar face. You all know her from my previous vlogs, the wonderful Magda. Hello. Oh, hello, Jo. Magda, what are we going to be doing? See, I, you did that. I have to do this because of all this <laughs> flapping around. What are we going to be doing? So as we were uh, speaking some time ago, um, you area who you would like to improve was a bit of an, on your arms and we have this amazing system, M's called Neo, uh, an amazing attachment for the arms which helps to tighten and firm and uh, encourage the muscle, the triceps to um, so build up a little bit more. So hopefully, I mean you look amazing in your dress but I can make you look oh. even better. And this is, I've got fake tan on. When I don't have fake tan on and it's white, it's all crepey, it's dreadful, it goes very, very crepey, and it's not toned. And Magda and I, uh, we met through um, exercise, actually, and we would be doing a lot of weights. Well, I haven't done anything. Magda, obviously, is toned. I've done oh. nothing for a year, Magda, for a, over a year. It's really bad. So even my face-up dog, um, I, I'm not doing those. So my arms are getting no workout. And I had this on my stomach, which was a... Uh, Amazing. It was amazing. For the first time ever I had a flat stomach and I, I was born with a big stomach. It's a genetic thing. I and mean, it was flat and I'm hoping this will tone my arms. How many sessions will I need? So um, we recommend course of four once a week um, and then we offer two extra sessions as a maintenance session so we can break them down every two weeks after the full course of four. Um, uh, treatments and uh, actually will be interesting because I still believe you've got beautiful arms but as we know arms and um, uh, they will have a muscle will have memory so it will be interesting from your point of view to find out what do you think absolutely and this is one of the few clinics when I was having my stomach I think it was the only clinic that had this machine I'm going to leave the link below with all the details so you can have a look at the cosmetic skin clinic website and find out but you must only ever book Magda. <laughs> so, rather like the stomach one, which was hugely successful, Magda has put my hands under my, <laughs> my hips because it's, it lifts your arms. You can feel all the muscles working, but there's this involuntary lifting. But it's not painful, it's not unpleasant. And I'm lying down instead of lifting weights and booking into a gym. Or do, I mean, this is, it's amazing. This machinery is amazing. As I say, we are gonna film this first one. This is all you're gonna see. This is all that happens. How long is the session, Magda? How long did we do it for? So the session is half an hour, just like a stomach. Um, you may also feel a bit of heat because there's a radio frequency with the skin tightening. How, how is it feeling, the temperature? It's fine, you absolutely fine. fine. Super. Um, so about half an hour of this, you lie down. If you come here, you lie down, you watch telly, you get up, you go, and your arms are on the way to being toned. It's unbelievable. So we'll check back in about four weeks' time and see what's happened. Hello, good morning, everybody. Um, I had some friends around for dinner last night and Michelle brought me peonies, which she knows I love. And um, it's Friday, by the way, and she said, by the time you come back from your mum's on Monday, they will be out. I do love peonies and um, I've been trying to look after them in my mum's garden as well, but the rain just keeps, oh, the rain this summer, it just keeps destroying them. Anyway. Do you want to see what I'm wearing and then I'll tell you what I'm doing today? Nothing very exciting. I am wearing a uh, Pinko. This is a very old Pinko blouse, which I love because I love the sleeves. That It's very open at the back. Um, I'm wearing 
J Crew sailor pants that you've seen before and I'm wearing my Birkenstocks from Couples actually I'll, I'll try and do a long shot so you can see me properly was that worth it probably not um so I very seldom ever have a day off unless I'm going on holiday and I wanted to have a day off to go to the beach but the weather it's still really misty and cloudy and if it's misty and cloudy here knowing Brighton the sea fret will be in which will mean I'll drive all the way down there and it's just covered in fog so what I'm going to do is meet my friend Susie and her dog Flora who is the cousin to Matilda at much younger though only four um, and we're going to go and have lunch at either the Spaniards in Hampstead or Kenwood we're going to walk on the heath take a sentimental journey because both Susie and I used to live in Hampstead in the 70s and um, catch up and then I will drive down to my mum's and this is just such it's so lovely knowing that I've got time uh, to just do things without knowing I've got to be somewhere um, like a radio station and um, I'm gonna have to get used to this because there will be a day when I will not be going into the radio station and I'm gonna have to get used to the fact that I will have uh, days where I'm doing nothing. <laughs> Let's hope that's not going to happen for a while. But um, I know how lucky I am. But um, I also love the novelty of a day off. And thank God it is a novelty. Because I know many people have days off through no choice. So, um, right. Off I go. Oh, I'm also having a day off from makeup, as you've probably noticed. I'm doing a red lip, which... Um, detracts from the fact that I look like a maggot I've got I have when I'm not doing anything I take a day off from my makeup so I have no mascara just so I can rest my lashes um, because they're becoming sparse at my age so I just have some Revita lash on and um, and some SPF Nadine Baggett if you're watching I am wearing SPF the Paula's Choice SPF actually um, and that's it so yeah, Matilda was up all night. I think it's because she ate a bit of raw tuna. Uh, she wasn't particularly well. I won't go into detail, so she's had a heavy night, but she'll be fine. I'm gonna take the pram. So this is gorgeous. We're out on Hampstead Heath and Susie is, um, well she's rather like my nanny. <laughs> Could you, would you mind bringing the child round for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes my lady. <laughs> yes I will. Just bring the child round for lunch. Yes. Um, and this is Flora who is uh, Matilda's cousin, you all know. Matilda, um, Flora, look. And Flora's four, so um, she's, you know, she's well behaved. She's very, very well behaved. But Susie and I used to be here. We lived in Hampstead uh, for many years. And um, this was our stomping ground. So it's so lovely to come back. I know where all the bodies are buried. You are know where all the bodies are buried. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, can we just say Hampstead Heath in the evening is completely different to Hampstead Heath uh, during the day.
is really Hampstead, so we are by the garden shop and the bookshop at Kenwood, and there's a lovely stall of second-hand books. So we're just having cheese scone, banana, kombucha, and fizzy water. The bananas for the girls. And that's it, our lunch. It's gorgeous. I have chosen just the right day uh, to take a day off work. So this is where I'm going to end uh, this week's vlog. I've just got to my mum's. It's Friday's night. Um, she and I are going to watch the Andy Murray match. Um, and then I'm going to send all of these clips to Philippe and hopefully you'll enjoy this vlog on Sunday. Um, can I thank all of you for sticking with me? I say that every single week because I know um, I, I can see by the comments sometimes if I do collaborations people get a bit disgruntled but as I said this isn't a hobby really now it is my plan B it's something that you know I just want to grow as I as I continue vlogging really so um, it's not every week that I um, I work with a brand it is I try to do it like once every six weeks something like that and as I say they're always the brands that I would choose to use if I don't already use them um, so I hope that helps some of you who just um, get a bit cross and say Joe there's too many ads um, and I also like to think that I do it a bit with a bit of um, integrity not just plonking something in um, I really genuinely like to introduce things to you that I'm using or I've started to use genuinely um, and anyway that's what this is all about isn't it um, and you can always skim through I hope you don't though so don't forget to subscribe to um, the channel if you haven't and do follow me on Instagram because um, I did a wonderful Q&A with a lovely lady called Jackie Ripley. It's on my IGTV if you go to my Instagram and she asked some really interesting questions but I also um, quite often post what I'm just wearing, you know, in the course of the week. Do you know, I'm so tired because Matilda, Matilda didn't sleep last night. She had a really bad stomach upset. And so I'm ready for an early night tonight, which is what I'll do after Andy. I'm wittering on. Have a great week. I will see you either Wednesday or Sunday next week. Bye.